Hi everyone, this is Rich Formadoni from Korg USA. Today we're in the studio with the SV-1 and what I'd like to do is take you a little bit deeper than the knobs and buttons that are on the front panel. And to do that we're going to jump into the software editor. If you haven't yet downloaded this editor, you haven't begun to tweak. There's lots of functionality right here on the panel with the knobs and buttons that are on the SV-1, but there are lots of parameters in the software that you can't get to from the keyboard itself. So let's jump right in and I'll show you how it works. So here we are on the main page of the editor librarian. And you can see here we've already got lots more to do than we can on the front panel. So I'm going to go to uh, favorite number three, which is Tyne EP slash amp. Now, just looking at the, uh, at the very first block here, we see that there's a three-band equalizer, but there's also a mid-range control. Now I'm going to turn on that EQ here. And uh, using that mid-range control, we can adjust the bell character of this particular electric piano. So, first thing I'll do is uh, boost up the mids, and then I can sweep the mid frequency. to find where the bell character is that I really want to use. Now, moving over to the pre-effects section, you can already see that there are uh, more knobs than what you've got on the front panel here. So, for example, I'm going to jump over to a uh, compressor, and now you can adjust the sensitivity, the level, and the attack. Or, I'm just going to switch over here to an organ sound, and you can see here there are six different controls. Now, on the front panel, you've only got the uh, speed and intensity control. So, here with this particular uh, organ vibrato and chorus simulation, you can actually choose different types of vibrato and chorus just like you would on the real thing. So you've got those, uh, those actual settings that would be on the real organ. You can adjust the mix and the depth and speed over here as well. Now, moving down to the amp model, some interesting stuff starts to happen. I'm going to go to a uh, reed-based electric piano. And we've got the amplifier modeling turned on here. You can see that on the front panel of the SV-1, there's just a drive knob. And that equates to this pre-volume knob right here. But we've also got amp volume and a three-band EQ just for that amp simulator, as well as a presence control. Now, over here on the right is a selectable cabinet. Now, for each of the six amplifier models, when you just select them from the front panel of the SV-1, the cabinet is pre-selected, so there's always a, a good cabinet tied to that amp. But if you want to switch it around a little bit, you have the freedom to do that here. So you have a wider palette of tones to choose from. Now, let's check out the effects section over here. And I'll jump back to uh, our other electric piano here. And we're looking at the modulation effects, which we can turn on. And here's a phaser. And we can select the same ones that we see on the front panel. But I'm going to show you some cool tricks here. Again, we've got more knobs than what we see on the front panel of the keyboard itself. Now, uh, here for, on this chorus, for example, we've got speed, intensity, uh, width and mode, but there's also a type knob. Now listen as I, as I play with this. Here it's set to chorus. Now it's set to pitch mod. And there's also a flanger. So all those different settings just from that one chorus effect. And the same thing goes for our reverb and delay. In addition to uh, just setting the, the reverb depth or the delay depth, you now have all these additional controls for the reverb or delay that you select. Low gain, high gain, pre-delay, so you can tweak much, much further. Now, looking down here, there is a total effect. This doesn't appear anywhere on the front panel of the SV-1. And your choices here are stereo limiter and stereo mastering limiter. And these are really great for a live situation. They'll allow you to get maximum gain without going over a certain level. So really great for keeping your tone nice and even on stage or in the studio. Now I'm going to jump over to a clav sound. And I'm going to move to the RX noise slash layer page.
Now, the RX noises are the extra elements of the instrument that come through, such as key clicks, uh, percussion sounds on an organ, damper sounds on a grand piano. All the, uh, all the little sounds that are part of playing the real instrument are also in the SV-1, and you can use this tab to adjust them. So right from here, you can adjust their volume. <laughs> So you can hear the clicks are much more pronounced there. Also, there's a little trick on the front panel of the SV-1. You can turn on the amp model real quick and turn down the drive all the way. And there you can isolate those RX sounds so you can play them by themselves. Now, you might also notice here that there is another three-band EQ, and that is just for the RX noises and layers, and it also has that sweepable mid-range. Now, there are spots where this is especially useful. So, for example, I'm going to go to the piano category, and sound number six in that category... <laughs> is a nice piano and pad combination. Now, this volume control will actually adjust the level of the pad beneath the piano. And the same goes for the EQ. So it not only affects the, uh, the noises of the instruments, it also affects layered instruments. And you can download our new sound pack, and there are lots of new layered instruments in there as well. On the backup tab, you can back up, archive, and restore all your sound settings. So that's a very convenient way to manage all your data at once. And uh, you might notice here that there's also a compare button. Now, I'm going to make a quick change here just to the mix knob, and then I'm going to press compare. And what that just did was it reset all the, uh, all the settings here, including that mix knob, to uh, exactly the way they were in the last saved position. Now, this is a great way to uh, delve deep into the sounds, and before you get too lost in your own edits, you can hit compare and compare it to the saved version of the sound to see how far away you've drifted with your own programming. So that's a very useful tool right there. Now, over here on the right side is where you can choose which sound you want to work with and, uh, and save the current preset using the right current preset button right here. You can also write global settings and back up all the SV1 data with a convenient shortcut right there. Now, if I click on Favorites, I've got access to the sounds that are stored in the Favorites buttons that are on the front panel of the SV-1. If I click on Sound, now I'm dealing with the 36 different sounds that are preset in the Sound Select dials that are on the front panel of the SV-1. Now, you can't save those sounds from the keyboard itself. You can certainly modify them, but when you want to save them, you have to save them as one of the favorites. So from within the editor, you can actually modify what you're playing in those 36 sound locations. So that is the software editor for the SV-1. It's available as a free download on korg.com SV-1, uh, along with all the operating system updates and extra sounds. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you again next time.